Days of anticipation had accumulated. At its investor day, Tesla was preparing to announce a new strategic strategy, only the third time the firm has outlined a master plan to guide its future. Analysts were eager to see a new Tesla model, specifically a far less expensive Tesla, that would make the most popular electric vehicle brand in the United States available to a much larger range of purchasers. Hello everyone, and welcome to another video. Today we'll be looking at Tesla's brutal plan to end the automotive industry. Yeah, you heard it right. Wednesday's investor day, however, Tesla did not disclose this car. What is Musk's latest master plan? Stopping fossil fuels. In lieu of a flashy new vehicle, the firm advocated for an aggressive global shift away from fossil fuels, with a large number of electric vehicles and batteries, the company's main goods, as the primary components. Wall Street would have liked a new vehicle from a corporation that has traditionally emphasized its green credentials. Tesla's stock sank sharply in after-hours trading, but in some respects, it was vintage Tesla. By encouraging the auto sector to adopt electric vehicles, Tesla has already fundamentally altered the climate discourse. The new master plan also addressed the decarbonization of the global electric grid, as well as all industries, shipping, and air transport. Musk argued in his opening remarks that the world can rapidly transition to renewable energy with the assistance of batteries, to store solar electricity for use at night, for example, and of course, battery-powered electric vehicles. This new master plan included references to heat pumps and hydrogen for industrial applications. Several scientists, analysts, and nonprofit organizations have devised strategies to mitigate climate change, most emphasize that time is running out and the magnitude of required transformation is intimidating. Musk's disposition was more upbeat. According to Tesla's calculations, the move would cost $10 trillion, which is less than what the globe would spend on fossil fuels during the same time period. Nearly $7 trillion would be for electric automobiles, a market Tesla changed and aspires to dominate globally. Musk stated, Today is not only for Tesla investors, but for all investors on Earth. The planet can and will transition to sustainable energy throughout your lifetime. Without a brand new vehicle to demonstrate, Tesla executives and engineers discussed the design and construction of the next generation of vehicles. The company asserts that its completely reimagined assembly process, which entails constructing the front and rear of the vehicle independently, could reduce production costs by 50%. Tesla also claims that future vehicles would not require rare earth elements and will be able to utilize any battery chemistry, making it easier to obtain raw materials. Tesla blasted investors with instances of how it has developed new features and reduced expenses in order to reinforce its reputation as an innovative firm. Tesla touted a software update to automatically adjust air suspension mid-drive, based on data from other vehicles about where the road is rough and a strategy to reduce costs on supercharger stations by pre-assembling entire stations and dropping them from a crane, as opposed to installing each charger individually on location. Despite increasing competition, investors were more confident about Tesla's future at the time of the investor day. Every major car maker now feels that zero emission vehicles represent the future of the industry, and they're rushing to catch up to Tesla. As more competition emerges, it is likely that Tesla's proportion of EV sales will decrease. This was one explanation for the sharp decline in the company's share price last year. Tesla, however, produces more automobiles than its competitors and recently reduced prices significantly. This has increased demand in Tesla automobiles and Wall Street has welcomed the move, and Teslas continue to be popular amongst drivers. The company has just earned the S&P Global Mobility Automotive Loyalty Award for overall loyalty to a brand. Almost half of the time, returning car buyers stick with their former brand. More than two-thirds of Tesla purchasers return to the brand. Vince Palomares of S&P Global Mobility remarked, Tesla had a very, very strong year. They have developed an appealing product for consumers, they reduced their costs, they also have access to tax credit once more. Moreover, Palomares observes that Tesla owners frequently install a Tesla charger at their residence. This could be an added incentive to continue with the brand, as it would eliminate the need to constantly switch equipment or utilize an adapter. He compared them to Apple's exclusive chargers. If you have an iPhone, an iPad, and a MacBook, you're gonna get an Apple Watch, he says. The infrastructure is in place. So that's all from today's video. If you enjoyed it, remember to leave a like, subscribe, and ring that bell icon so that you never miss our upcoming videos. And don't forget to share your thoughts in the comments section down below.
Stay tuned and we'll catch you in the next video.